I had a professor that would perform a burn test, burn a small sample of plastic to identify the plastic type and observe the flame color and the smell of the fumes. I wouldn't advise this. Some of the plastic burning could be toxic. With water in the cup, water draws energy away from the flame through convection. Water is absorbing the heat so quickly the plastic cup does not get up to its ignition temperature in the location where there is water in the cup. This is between 120 to 200 degrees Celsius. Also, water has a high specific heat, so it takes a good amount of energy to raise water's temperature even just by one degree. Water can absorb a significant amount of heat energy before its temperature rises. This property allows the water to absorb most of the heat, preventing the plastic cup from reaching its ignition temperature. The burning of plastic can release harmful materials and should be done only for specific experimental purposes in a controlled environment like a fume hood. Burning plastic should be approached with extreme caution due to its harmful effects on health and the environment. If you must perform an experiment involving the burning of plastics, before burning, identify the type of plastic you're working with. Different plastics produce different fumes when burned. 